welcome to China. I am Travel Tom Tom and I landed here at Shanghai International Airport. And in this video, I'm going to show you how it looks like arriving at Shanghai PVG Airport. The main reason I created this video is to show you everything you need to know about buying a SIM card for your trip to China here at Shanghai International Airport. And as you can see, I'm walking down a really long aisle already for like five minutes and I'm getting to passport control to get my passport stamp. But first, I think I need to do a foreigner fingerprint something. Okay, let's see what that is like. Yeah, so you have to do a fingerprint apparently. Let's put our passport in here. Please take your passport. Yeah, and then indeed I have to do this whole thing. Oh wow, it even speaks my language, that's Dutch. Yeah, this is uh, my fingerprint code. I got this voucher and apparently I have to use somewhere. This is the arrival's passport control is there. I just got stamped into China behind me. It's right behind me. Don't turn the camera around because yeah, I don't want to get any trouble. There's immigration. Then you get here to the luggage claim area. As you can see, that's very spacious and very uh, easy to go around. I don't actually don't know where I'm walking. Here at the luggage belts, there is of course a duty free. There is also a money exchange, but I didn't see any ATM so far. The main reason why I'm making this video is to show you where you can buy a SIM card for tourists here at Shanghai Airport. And as you can see behind me, there is a desk. It is next to a luggage claim at 28. And let's see what they offer. They have China Unicom SIM cards and they look like this. These are the prices that you can get. Yeah, it's a lot of information because it's price monthly data credit domestic so i have to ask the staff what actually everything means actually i found out they sell two different sim cards so two different operators we have china unicom and china telecom uh, the china unicom sim card is the cheapest because it starts from 200 yuan and you get 20 gigabyte but it starts from 28 us dollars that's the cheapest sim card you can buy here at shanghai international airport and then a China Telecom gives you 30 gigabytes, but already it cost 42 US dollars. So yeah, there's not much option. So uh, let's pick up my luggage and go through the customs check. And I hope in arrival halls, they sell more prepaid SIM cards for traveling to China. Yeah, so did I buy a SIM card for China already here at the SIM card desk? No, I did not. Uh, $28 uh, for 20 gigabytes actually is a pretty damn expensive because there are also e-SIM cards you can buy online for China and they're much cheaper. I'll tell you more about it later. The good thing is that SIM card shop is open 24 hours and you can pay by card. So, and you can of course pay by uh, cash, but yeah, that's a good thing. Uh, I am going through the last check. I'm going to a uh, custom check and then go to the arrivals hall and actually hoping in the arrivals hall, there's actually uh, some better offers for SIM cards for China here at Shanghai International Airport. Yeah, and this is what it looks like when you walk into China, into airport of Shanghai International PVG. Oh wow, there's a whole line of people here if you gotta find your place. <laughs> that is funny. Um, but yeah, I'm going to find another place for you where to buy a SIM card uh, to get connected here in China, get connected on your trip to Shanghai. Oh my God, this is crazy. Look how huge it is. This is, yeah, if I have to find my way here, my name here, that's gonna be difficult. When you walk out to your right of uh, the India Rivals Hall, then you get to uh, yeah, a SIM card shop. They sell these SIM cards. As you can see, they have four different plans. They are from China Mobile. China Unicom. Uh, the cheapest one is 230 yuan, which means about 30 US dollars, and they get you 30 gigabyte for one month. Here you can also pay by card, uh, but also no e SIM cards here, only physical prepaid SIM cards. And then a couple meters further, there is an airport business hall SIM card, and they have uh, China Unicom SIM cards, and I actually have one for 150. And 150 yuan is actually only like 21 US dollar. That's the cheapest SIM card I have seen so far. And here is where you can get it. It's like a 
Sherry Way, Easy Go, a, a convenient shop, open 24 hours, you can pay by card as well. And they have this little kiosk of China Unicorn. And very surprising is their free Wi-Fi at Shanghai International Airport PVG. Well, at customs, at baggage claim area, there is already Wi-Fi, but you need to log in with an SMS code. So I put in my phone number, I never got the SMS. Three different numbers I tried, all of them were not receiving an SMS on my eSIM card. And then here we have the good old Wi-Fi kiosk. I scanned my passport, uh, got a code, logged in, guess what? Still no Wi-Fi. So yeah, if you ask me if there's Wi-Fi, free Wi-Fi for people arriving here at the Shanghai International Airport, I say no. Never mind. I made the Wi-Fi work with some help of some people. It took 15 minutes, but I am connected to the Wi-Fi at least here at Shanghai International Airport. So yeah, I'm buying a SIM card. I'm going for the 20 gigabyte, 150. Yes, RMB. It is pretty busy here at Shanghai Airport, so we'll go to a more quiet corner. But yeah, I bought a SIM card. I am connected. I bought a SIM card from China Mobile. It says a lot of things, and I signed a couple documents. Uh, I have no clue what I signed, but yeah, I bought for 150. Uh, I bought a SIM card with 20 gigabyte for one month, which is about 20 US dollar. Uh, it was the cheapest that I saw, and that is all the, the reason I bought a China Mobile SIM card. Yeah, and don't forget that nothing works here, guys. Uh, Instagram, Facebook, WhatsApp, even Safari or Google. I tried to actually Google who has the best 4G, 5G network in um, China, but I couldn't figure it out because I literally can't get on the internet. You need a VPN for pretty much everything. Uh, so yeah, I stopped doing my research and I just went to the cheapest SIM card. The lady was helpful. Uh, the registration process here is a photo. I need the side face, um, passport scan, of course. But yeah, it's a, a very extensive process. However, the people work fast here. She was doing three SIM cards at the same time. So within like three, four minutes, I was connected, I must say. Uh, and yeah, I have 5G. Is it working? Yeah, it works, but none of my apps as a Western uh, work here in China. So uh, how fast it is and how my experience is with a, a China uh, mobile sim card I will update you later after two days I can already come up with a conclusion about uh, how what is it like to buy a sim card here for your trip to Shanghai that shows an iconic spot here uh, to explain you uh, what you should do because listen carefully two days I've been struggling with the internet because as you know uh, China internet censorship is uh, big like there are 10 of the apps that I normally use uh, nine of them I can't use like Gmail doesn't work uh, just Google doesn't work uh, how to search things on the internet it just doesn't work like Safari doesn't work uh, it's just really hard to do something Google Maps doesn't work and then of course all the social media Facebook WhatsApp uh, Instagram uh, TikTok, nothing works. Like your phone is completely useless when you ask me. And then you're saying, of course, you should use a VPN. Well, the three main uh, big VPNs around the world, uh, Express, Nord, uh, Surfshark, all of them I tried. I spent money on it. Like I think in total I spent more than $30 to uh, all these VPNs and I tried all of them. So I found my Chinese friends, they found me a VPN that works, but then it's, everything is super slow. You don't want to use that, trust me. However, you think, shit, so what should I do when I go to travel to Shanghai? Which SIM card should I buy? Well, it's a very easy so solution. And also in conclusion, what is the best way to stay connected when you travel to Shanghai? I just tried to get an Airalo SIM card this Airalo is an e-SIM card you can buy online. It's a, yeah, it's a platform where e-SIM cards are sold for China as well. So I thought, just let's try. It's $4 or $5 for one gigabyte and I tried and it works. No VPN, nothing. So literally everything works with an Airalo SIM card. Uh, so the first thing I did is I bought a 10 gigabyte for $28. Uh, I will put a link in the description where you can buy an e-SIM card from Airalo uh, for uh, China. And now you're thinking, well, uh, he's selling this e-SIM card. No, I'm not. I'm literally telling you how it works. So everything works, like Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, uh, Google Maps, everything suddenly works. Like 
you can just normally look up things on Google. Um, I tried also to find other uh, eSIM cards and I asked around if other people also use other eSIM cards. Well, there are other eSIM cards from SIM Options, for example, but they're way more expensive. So, and they also like, I think cost 49 US dollars for 10 gigabyte and with Arala was only 28 US dollars. Uh, so this is my simple conclusion for when you travel to Shanghai and you're looking for the best way to stay connected. You can still buy a SIM card at the airport in, uh, in Shanghai. Um, but yeah, I am actually not using it anymore. So for me, this China mobile SIM card was a big fail. Anyway, I hope all my tips for the best ways to stay connected when you travel to Shanghai were helpful for your upcoming trip. Uh, may you have any questions, please drop them in the comment uh, section. I'm happy to help you out uh, with your questions about VPN and how to stay connected when you travel to China. Uh, rest me one little thing, guys, and it's please. Would you like this video just for my effort to show you how to stay connected when you travel to Shanghai? That would be really amazing. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, one little thing. Enjoy this really cool and interesting city of Shanghai.